and if you consider the blood vessels that contain the blood cells they will stretch to 100000 kilometers that's a two time trip for you around the earth and and if that's not all if you take the dna out from the nucleus of the cell of, of your body of one person's body then it will stretch to the sun not once but 600 times so to appreciate the wonder of life we are going to go really microscopic today going to a different world that is visible to us only through a special equipment like the microscope to a world that has opened the can of wonder to to discover all that we have discovered and understand what we are made up of tiny units which are so small in size and shape so versatile in fact that it has 210 avatars this unit is so small that it cannot be seen with the naked eye so anyone guesses yes of course the cell so we are going to learn about the cell what's a cell as we all know that the cell is the fundamental unit of life and the body cell is called a little room in latin language robert hook in 1665 first discovered a dead cell mark it here a dead cell dead cell from the cock means a bark of a tree and Antoine Leeuwenhoek in 1668 with an improved microscope discovered that a free living cell from pond water mark it here also a free living cell as we have discussed, uh, discussed about the two scientists let us discuss about some more number third is Robert Brown who discovered the nucleus in the cell number fourth is Matthias Schleiden who discovered that all plants are made up of cells Number fifth is Theodor Schwann, who proposed that all animals are made up of cells. And number six, yes, the last one is Purkinje, who discovered that the plasma is known for the fluid substance of the cell. Okay, we need to understand what happens in the case where water content is not the same. You know, not just right. So, let me take a cell here. The water content outside the cell and inside the cell can be the same or it is an equilibrium so nothing happens. So this solution is known as an equilibrium or an isotonic solution. What if, what happens in the case where the water content outside the cell is more and the inside the cell is less. The water will rush into the cell, blot it up and it can burst, right? Can, can, can it happen in us humans also? No, not really. This is likely to be happen in the cells that have a cell wall, like the plants. Do plant cells burst? No, not really. What's going to happen is plants have a special organelle known as a vacuole. So when the cell swells up due to the extra water in it, the vacuole exerts pressure on the cell wall and cell wall again exerts an equal pressure to the vacuole prevents it and protects it from bursting so this solution also has a name this solution is known as hypotonic solution can a reverse happen? yes of course why not in this case the water concentration outside the cell is less and here in, inside the cell is more so the cell will exert a pressure towards the water uh, and it, it will lose its shape. In this case, the cell will shrivel up and loses its shape. This solution has also a name. It's known as a hypertonic solution. Okay? So, today we have discussed about the cell and the three kinds of solutions. I hope you have liked my video. Thank you. Bye friends. We will meet you in the next video.